Hello everyone. Let us provide a solution to this Olympiad mathematics. Y to the power of 3 plus 20 over y to the power of 3 plus 2 equals 7. And now what I want to do is adding 2 to both sides. So we have y to the power of 3 plus 2. Then I have plus 20 over y to the power of 3 plus 2 equal to 7. Now add 2 to the right hand side so that we can have everything equals 9. Now if we take a step further, as a matter of fact we now have y to the power of 3 in two places, right? So let x be equal to y to the power of 3 plus 2. And in that case, in place of this now, I'm going to write, okay, you can even do this, right, and then close this up. So that in place of this, I'll write x plus 20 all over here again. I'm going to put x, and this is 7 plus 2, which is 9. Now let's create and um, clear out the fraction. So we have x squared plus 20 equal to 9x. Now let's arrange this properly as a quadratic equation. We have x squared minus 9x plus 20 to be equal to 0. This is now a quadratic equation and we can solve this by factorization or using the elimination method. Okay, but sometimes it will be difficult for you to apply elimination method or factorization rather to apply factorization method because you'll be thinking of the numbers to use. But then let us use the formula method for this. So x is unknown, but our a is equal to 1, our b is equal to minus 9, and then c is equal to 20. Now the formula is this, x is equal to minus b, positive or negative, square root of b squared minus 4ac, and the whole of this is over 2a. Now let's put a, b, c into the formula now, x is equal to minus b becomes 9, because negative, negative 9 will give us plus 9 plus or minus here i'm going to have minus 9 squared that will give us some um, 81 then minus this is 4 times 1 times some um, 20 okay 4 times 1 times 20 because c is 20 and all of this will be over 2 times 1 if we take a step forward step further we have 9 plus or minus we have 81 minus 4 times 1 times 20 is 80 and the whole of this is over 2 meaning x is equal to 9 plus or minus square root of 1 okay then we have everything over 2 we will still continue so that we have um, x to be equal to 9 plus or minus square root of 1 is 1 and this is over 2. Now let's continue. This means that x is equal to 9 plus 1 over 2 or 9 minus 1 over 2. So x is equal to 10 over 2 or 8 over 2. And this means that x is equal to 5 or it's equal to 4. Now the question is, which one is faster? Is it the formula method or the factorization method? So now we have our x1 to be equal to 5 and our x2 to be equal to 4. But then remember, when we say that x is equal to y to the power of 3 plus 2, right? So if we are picking 5 over here, it means that y, okay, it means that 5 that we got here is now equal to y to the power of 3 plus 2. 
now take everything to the left apart from okay let's bring 2 to the left so we have y m5 minus 2 to be equal to y to the power of 3 3 is equal to y to the power of 3 and then from here we have that y now will be equal to square root of 3 okay so this becomes the value of our y1 then from here i want to get the value of um, y2 from where x is equal to 4 so now it means that 4 now will be equal to y to the power of 3 plus 2 so that 4 minus 2 will be equal to y to the power of 3 and then 2 is equal to y to the power of 3 and then this means that um okay this is cube root sorry this is supposed to be cube root of 3 and then from here y will be equal to cube root of 2 and you write your 3 in the root over there so this is what we get and we call this our y2 now let's bring the two solutions together y1 is equal to square root of 3 cube root of 3 rather and um, y2 is equal to the cube root of 2 now the next thing we will do is to put the value of y1 and y2 into the original equation okay so this is the original equation and then let's put in the value of y1 that means we're going to have the cube root of 3 to the power of 3 right then plus 20 over the cube root of 3 to the power of 3 plus 2 now if i process this do we have 7 at the end that is a question remember this and this can cancel so we have 3 over there plus here we have 20 over square um, cube root and the cube will cancel so we have 3 plus 2 right so if i continue with this then we have 3 plus 20 over 5 3 plus 20 over 5 this could be over 1 too right so if we proceed then we're going to have the lcm will be 5 let me have it here will be 5 then 5 times 3 will give us 15 plus 20 now at the end of the day we will have 35 over 5 and this is giving us 7 remember it is 7 that we had on the right hand side so this means that y1 equal to cube root of 3 y1 equal to cube root of 3 is very correct now let's try the second solution okay so the, sec the second um, solution is that y is equal to cube root of 2 so here i will have my cube root of 2 this is cube root of 2 then to the power of 3 plus 20 over cube root of 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 now the question is will this give us 7 let's continue this will cancel this we have 2 plus 20 over this will cancel this we have 2 plus 2 then this will be 2 plus 20 over 4 right then this is over 1 the lcm is 4 then 4 divided by 1 is 4 times 2 we have 8 then plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 20 is 20 at the end we have 28 over 4 right and this is the same thing as 7 and it is 7 we had on the right hand side right so this is the confirmation that y equal to square root I mean cube root of 3 satisfies the equation and y also equal to cube root of 2 satisfies the equation thank you for watching